Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're talking about natural gas in your house. As you know, it's serious stuff when you're talking about leaks and explosions. So here's some important information you want to know as a homeowner. So first starts outside, you have that natural gas line underground coming up to your house. You have pressure regulator. You need to dial down that pressure to what your house can handle. And you have a meter before it goes inside your house. Now you will hear this making noise now and then, hissing noise when you're actually using natural gas, that's normal. The only other thing to keep an eye on out here is how clean it is. Last time the gas company was here, they inspected, they cleaned, and they repainted everything for me. So next, your gas pipe enters your house. It's this black pipe. And actually right here a couple years ago is where my wife smelled gas. So I called the gas company, we had to evacuate our host. They came over with a detector. And actually the detector did not detect any gas even right next to the spot where my wife was smelling it. But they take one more step, they sprayed soapy water and it was bubbling. We had a gas leak right here and they had to replace the fitting that was there. So this right here is exactly what the fitting looked like that they had to replace. What this is is a thread protector. It's used during shipping only to protect the threads on the pipe. It is threaded, but the threads are not tapered. So typically on the pipe and on the coupling, the threads are going to be tapered so that when you connect them together, they get tighter and tighter and make a really good connection. That is not an approved fitting to couple two pipes together. So during installation, you're supposed to take those off and replace them with a real fitting. If you have these in your house, I highly suggest even if you can't smell any gas, spray some soapy water on those, make sure they're good. No bubbles coming out from the soapy water. And then the next time you have service done in your house, whether that's the gas boiler, dryer, or the gas company working outside, they might be able to unthread the pipes and get to that to replace it with an approved fitting. So the correct couplings you're gonna see are this one, it has these ridges in it. 90 degree elbows like these, reducing T's like this one, shut off valves such as this, and down here we have another reducer, and then another coupling might look like this one. And you also have caps like this one here on these vertical runs that are going to capture any debris that falls down so it doesn't go into the appliance. And then you always want the hard fittings here going into your water heater or whatever appliance it is versus the flexible hoses. We're going back to this coupling here. Only reason the gas company did not replace this when they were out here replacing the other one. This is in the exact middle of the house. I have 20 feet of pipe going that way. I have another 15 feet of pipe going that way. And this is a very rigid pipe. It's not like the copper water pipes where you have a little bit of wiggle room. If you're gonna get to this, you have to take a lot of pipe apart and take hours. And the only way this is getting replaced actually is if I have my boiler, my outdoor gas grill, and my water heater all disconnected at the same time. So in the future when I get the boiler replaced, I'll have them replace this fitting at the same time. So if you're a homeowner, you've likely seen this before. This is a mailing that they send out once per year. It's a scratch and sniff. It tells you how to detect gas leaks. So what they do, they add a chemical to the gas. It makes it smell like rotten eggs, so you know how to smell it if there's a gas leak. And some other important information in there as well. So I'll give you a quick demonstration on this one. Just gonna take some soapy water. You can mix any dish soap with water in a spray container. Anyone who's working on your gas pipes in your house, your gas boiler, gas water heater, gas dryer, after they finish all the connections, what they'll do is they'll spray it down with the soapy water wait a few minutes and check for bubbles. And that's the exact same thing your inspector is going to do as well. After that work is done, the permanent work is inspected, they'll spray it and they'll also check for any bubbles. All right, so we've waited a few minutes. There's no bubbles showing up anywhere in here. And that's still good. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you see this fitting in your house, you'll definitely want to get it replaced.